Hey, welcome back all you DIYers today. Working back on this trailer this time and uh, I got something fun. I'm gonna try out kind of dorky and excited about this, but uh, we're gonna do some trailer wiring and doing some new lighting. So let's get started. All right, I don't know about you guys, but nothing drives me more crazy than having to back up a trailer, getting home late at night, and you can't see a damn thing behind the trailer. So I seen on another video, somebody actually lit up their trailer to actually put some backup lighting on it. And I found some two in one lighting, some that had reverse lights and everything in it. So we're gonna try that out. And uh, if it works on this one, I got a car trailer and a dump trailer and enclosed trailer and I got another utility trailer. I may be doing this a few more times if this really works out. So. Uh, First thing we got to do, we got to get rid of the old lights and once I get those off of here, we're, I'm probably going to pull all the old that wiring out of it and we're going to do all new wiring. We're going to do whip up front, lighting on the back. This thing hopefully is going to be just primo when they're done, but hey, we got to get the lights off first, so let's get started on that. Very rusted on after only a couple of years, so yep, we're cutting them off now. So since they won't come off, I guess we'll use the old Ryobi. Uh, gosh, what is this? This is the P423, and we're just gonna cut them off. All right, now that we got these off, uh, actually, I have to wait for the Amazon guy to get here, which reminds me, hey, if you like any of these products that I use on here, I'm gonna throw the description in there that has the uh, link to it, to my uh, store that has everything on there. So if you want something that looks good on here, if I'm using something on here, I always try and put it in the description, check it out. So, uh, hey, I, I guess we wait and well, you'll be back in just a second. All right, so Amazon just stopped by, dropped me off this whip here that already has a pre-molded plug on it and a box to all my hookups, so it's all everything's all going to be sealed inside this box. I got the lights, which here is right here. Check that bad boy out. Hopefully that nice little LED right through the center right there will give me enough light when I'm backing up that I'll be able to see what I'm backing up to. And uh, of course, those will be mounted right here on the side just like this we're probably going to get rid of this tab that's sticking out so we can just kind of well maybe not maybe actually we might keep it there just to uh, protect that light just so it don't get hit so maybe we'll just keep it there for now but we're going to mount these in here and i they actually came with the bracket here so we'll just have to be able to bolt that right into place just like that that should work out that should work out great so as you can see i already got some I got some new wires strung through here. Um, we got everything pulled up to the front. So I'm gonna start on the whip first, get those all connected up front, come back here, get the brackets attached and the uh, lights and, and I'll show you some wiring when I get ready to put that together. All right, so we got so far, we have the lights all mounted in here. I have all the new wires ran all the way up to the front and I have the new pigtail put on the front and the box mounted. But the new box didn't come with the uh, color coding for what wire goes what. And I know a lot of times they're the same, but I always kind of question whether everyone is the same. So to be sure, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to the truck tomorrow morning and get things going. But 
for now I'm gonna go ahead and get these hooked up back here and get these all soldered in so these are ready to go so um, I'm gonna... all right so we got all this all hooked up here and like I said on this box here on that box right there the color codes that are the common ones are not what those really are so as you can see up here on my whiteboard I put on here the uh, the ones in blue are the ones that are actually like the common code the ones that are written on the outside are actually what the ones that came with this and what they are so yeah it was a little different from what what they were supposed to be but it all worked out everything seems to work and we're going to go ahead and hook it up i'm going to show you some lighting we're going to shut the lights off here in the shop we'll be able to see how bright the backup lights are and everything so let me get that all set up all right so now here we have the running lights and then here are the brake lights not too bad and then when i put it in reverse we should get the center lights to light up like that now we shut the lights off in here and we'll see how bright they really are those they that's that should be pretty bright enough should be able to light everything up so there we go that is what we got all right so there we go rewired the trailer lights on the back with backup lights now so hey that should be really handy coming home late at night trying to park the trailer in the dark so which seems to happen quite often so hey um like always go down like share subscribe guys hey we'll see you next time later <laughs>